October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we will be speaking about it quite a bit on the show. Statistics show that one in eight women born today will get breast cancer at some point during their life. My guest this morning, she was diagnosed in 2011. Now, she said if she had been more educated about it, she would have taken earlier steps for prevention and been diagnosed sooner. She'll share the rest of her story with us right now. Catherine, thank you so much for being here today. Jenna, thank you for having me. Catherine, as I mentioned, you were diagnosed in 2011. Now, did you know anyone who had breast cancer? Not personally, no. Uh, I knew of a few people in the community who had faced cancer, uh, but was not personally aware of anyone's journey with breast cancer specifically. Did you know anything about breast cancer? Uh, surprisingly, no. I was, I was shocked at myself and, and somewhat embarrassed even um, because I uh, really did not know anything. Uh, and, I, and I started to question how that had happened. I consider myself uh, to be informed and I try to keep myself informed on a number of things. Um, and this one um, had eluded me, uh, and I, I began to, I thought a lot about that and mm -hmm. how that happened and mm -hmm. why that happened. And Catherine, you said too, you said if you had been educated about breast cancer, you would have taken earlier steps for prevention. I think that's a possibility. Of course, we cannot, you know, we can say, I can say that in hindsight. So mm -hmm. uh, that, that would be, uh, I think that's a, a good, po there's a good possibility that if I had had more education, um, I would have been able to, to take some earlier steps. Absolutely. Catherine, you've had quite the journey with it too. You're, you're still going through your, your treatment for breast cancer right now. That's correct. I finished uh, my chemotherapy at the end of June, and then there's a certain amount of waiting time, uh, waiting for results and diagnostics. Waiting is a large part of the process. Uh, and now I will be on continued therapy. I will be on a continued hormonal treatment and a continued oral chemotherapy. Um, a lot of why I wanted to have this uh, event is just to explain simple things like this, that mm -hmm. a lot of people aren't aware of um, how the whole process g goes and mm -hmm. what your different options are. And the event that you're talking about, you, through your journey, I don't know how you've had time to do this, but you've decided to organize an event for the community that's about education. Yeah, I... Um, started really actively the process to plan this event only about five weeks ago. Um, I had had it as an idea in my mind, so you know it was rolling around in my head and I looked at the calendar and I said, oh my goodness, <laughs> October's coming right up and you know could I put something together um, whether it ends up being just a group of, of 20 people or whether it ends up being something larger um, and I sat down and I put together an outline uh, and a friend of mine did say do you have the energy to do this right mm -hmm. now considering everything and I said you know I just I feel like I, I have to do it I feel like I really need to do it and I feel like it's an uh, important step in in my healing process as well because mm -hmm. you want to be able to inform others and, and make them aware of of what could happen to them in, in the future well it, yeah or or um, again, as I said, it's easy to say in hindsight, um, you know, I would have, should have done this, or I know I would have done this if I, and, and I, I can't be sure, but I can, um, I can offer this. That's mm -hmm. my offering to my community, is, is let's uh, sit down in a quiet atmosphere and uh, just go over the basics, go mm -hmm. over what we know. And there's a lot of things that we don't know about breast cancer mm -hmm. when it comes right down to it. Um, but I'm hoping that it will be uh, uh, give people a groundwork mm -hmm. and somewhere to start and somewhere to start thinking about uh, what they can do for themselves now and, uh, and uh, what they may at some point need to confront, whether it's them with themselves or someone close to them, because mm -hmm. uh, it, um, 
everything that we know, every, every way that we can educate ourselves can also help us if someone we know is diagnosed, even in that we understand more of the process that they're going through and we don't need to ask them so many questions. Right. Yeah. Now, Catherine, you said there are so many things we know and so many things we don't know. What would you say has been one of the biggest misconceptions you've f found out since you've had breast cancer? Um, that is a good question, a misconception. I, I guess, I don't know if I would talk about misconceptions. I guess I would just talk more again about the basic education um, and, the, and the, basic, the various causes of breast cancer. Um, I think a lot of times, we, a lot of, you hear a lot of people asking for a cure and, and there's this striving for a cure. And I think what's, what's really important is that before a cure can be possible, we really need to understand what the causes are. Mm -hmm. And I think right now, uh, if you look at some of the, um, the research that's going on, um, there's a lot of different questions about what all those causes really are. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's important. Great. And that's something you'll be addressing this Saturday. Catherine, give us the details of the event on Saturday. Well, um, um, various presenters will be addressing eight different topics that I've, I've chosen. And um, as I said, this is a first for me, um, planning an event like this. And uh, it was really a desire to offer to people a basic education. And so I um, started to contact people I knew who I felt were knowledgeable. Uh, and, uh, and then I also got recommendations and contacted some people who I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And I think we've come up with um, a diverse group uh, who can speak on a number of different issues that are, that are important. And where will it be taking place? It's taking place at 801 Georgia Street, which is the One Island Family Fellowship. Mm -hmm. which is a UU Unitarian Universalist, which is an interfaith uh, fellowship community. Mm -hmm. uh, the event is not particularly affiliated with the, Universal, the Unitarian Fellowship, the One Island Family, uh, but they have generously offered their facilities and uh, all their resources to uh, help me host the event. And um, they are a community that's been very helpful to me for Great. many years. Wonderful. Well, everybody is invited to attend if they want to hear more about breast cancer education, prevention, and awareness. Catherine, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I thank you for being on, and I think it's wonderful that during your journey, you, you've taken the time to, to create this to help other people. So, Thank you so much mm -hmm. for having me. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.